Hello everyone, and in this video I am drawing Greninja from Pokemon. This is actually a Christmas present I did for my cousin, and he ended up liking it quite a lot. He actually told me that it was one of his favorite presents he got. Which made me all nice and happy, because he usually insults me. But he, he complimented me. He complimented me. And one of my drawings made me feel very nice. He's also nine years old, and a bit of a smartass. But hey, at least he was nice for Christmas. Anyway, for this drawing I'm using primarily Prismacolor markers. I think I use maybe some Blick Studios and a few Copics. I can't remember exactly. It's been a few weeks. So I did this, actually, no, it hasn't quite been a month yet, but it has been a few weeks. Or has it been a month? I, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. My sense of time is just terrible. Anyway, primarily done with Prismacolor markers. Pretty sure I used other ones as well, but most of it's done with Prismacolors. And unfortunately... I didn't know this before I was drawing, but one of my Prisma colors were dried out, and I needed that color, so I had to suck it up and deal with it. That was great. It's actually, is it the color I'm using right now? Well, the color I was just using for my shadows. It's um, blue violet, I think. So yeah, that one was all dried out. Didn't realize until I started coloring, but I didn't have a darker blue than that, so I just had to deal with it. Ended up tur turning out all right. Could have been a lot smoother if it wasn't all dried out, but nothing I can do, nothing I could have done then because I had like no. I did this, colored this on Christmas Eve morning, so I had only a few hours before I was going to see my cousin and give him his gift. So I just had to deal with it. Ah, you can see it right now. How horribly dried out it is, and how choppy the coloring is. I had to go over it. Go over it. With a bunch of different colors. Well, not a bunch of different colors, but two other markers. To try to smooth it out as best I could. Good to smooth it out completely, but... It was good enough, and my cousin still liked it, so it's alright. So I actually started to play Pokemon again after a very long time. I think the last Pokemon game I played was Fire Red for the Game Boy Advanced. And I didn't play another Pokemon game until Alpha Sapphire. And I just started playing that last year. I think end of summer? No, September. September I got a 3DS because I bought it with my birthday money. And that's when I started playing Pokemon again. And oh boy. It's very different. I guess it's alright that I started out with Alpha Sapphire because I played Ruby back in the day. So I kind of had an idea of how that game was like or would be like. like Yo, I, I played Y and I'm like, this game is so easy. Why? Why is it so different from the other ones? Yeah, that is fine. It's cool. It's alright game pretty good. Still surprised how how much easier Pokemon has gotten. Not like it was that difficult to begin with. Then again, I was a dumb child, so everything was really difficult when I was younger. But like, yeah, I started my first Pokemon game was Red, the Game Boy. That was my first one. So I, I started out with the original Pokemon. Or nice special. <laughs> No, no, it just, it just shows how old I am. It's, it's nothing to be proud of. Hmm. Come to think of it, for the first gen, I think I had all of them I could have gotten. So I had red, blue, and yellow. There is no green in America, so. And the one I played most was red. Then I went to gen 2. I had gold, silver, and crystal. And then gen 3, I... Only had Ruby. I didn't get Sapphire. 
and then I got fire red, and then I stopped. For a long time. I missed quite a few generations. Uh, what would Y be? Is Y Gen 6? I don't know. I honestly don't know. But I missed a couple. I missed Diamond and Pearl. Black and White. Isn't there like Black and White 2? Is there like a sequel? I don't even know. But I missed those as well. I came to X and Y pretty late. And then I got out the Sapphire. I did get Moon. I'm about to say Sun, but no, I got Moon. I wasn't late to that one. Whatever. Anyway, I should probably talk about my artwork. I ramble on about Pokemon for I don't know how long. Pokemon games. Not the actual Pokemon I'm drawing right now, which I should be talking about, but... Uh... So, did you hear that train in the background? Best train ever. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. Anyway, I had to start recording for a little while there. And I also thought my video glitched out. But apparently it didn't. I just stopped drawing for a good 20-30 seconds. And I started to talk over it, so I guess it's staying in the video now. So great, I have no drawing for an extended period of time and a train. This is great. Best voiceover in the world. Fantastic. Anyway, suppose I should actually start talking about my drawing again. I wasn't too sure how to color in Greninja's yellowish areas. Kind of just winged it. I didn't really have a whole lot of colors to choose from when I did this, so I kind of just used like a yellowish off-white color and shaded it with um, an orangish Copic marker. Pretty sure it was honey. I do not remember the number for it because I never remember any of the numbers. I can look though. Oh. Here I go. Wrong drawer. Here it is. It's Y38. It's a Copa Chow. Honey. Really like this color. Very nice. Very excited I got to use it. Even though the colors aren't exactly accurate. Eh. I liked it. I don't care. Though my cousin did point it out. He's like, I don't think Greninja's that orange. And I'm like, I didn't have a lot to choose from, so I just did it. He didn't mind too much. I mean, he's nine. He's I think he's nine. Oh. <laughs> I hope. Pretty sure he's nine. He's nine years old. He'll get over it. So when I discovered Greninja's scarf thing was actually his tongue, I got pretty grossed out. I was like, oh, no, it's it's just a scarf, right? And then one of my friends was like, no, it's totally his tongue. And I was like, oh, ew, it's kind of a little weird. Though I guess it's kind of cool. Your tongue's long enough, you just wrap it around and use it as a scarf. I guess that's convenient, like when it's cold outside or something. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm so lame. Can't help it though. Just trying to fill space at this point. After a while, I start to run out of things to say. I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over again. I don't know, how many voiceover videos have I done so far? Can't be that much. But still, especially for the marker drawings, I feel like I'm just repeating myself constantly. 
and all the things blend together and I start to forget what I actually said. So then I just begin to ramble and then it's just a bunch of nonsense and no one's happy. I don't know. But I do know that all of my videos are very unprofessional and I am very sorry. But hey, this is technically not a tutorial. I'm kind of just talking over myself drawing. Sometimes actually talking about the drawing and then sometimes talking about a bunch of nonsense. I mean, it happens. I'll be more formal for actual tutorials. Maybe write a bit of a script. Probably shouldn't write a script. Probably just write notes. And be like, I gotta cover this, this, and this. And hopefully, I'll be able to stay on track. But I'm not actually teaching you how to draw a Greninja or color or anything like that. Just trying to keep it interesting. Trying. Keyword. To keep it interesting while you're watching. Hopefully I'm not as scatterbrained for the tutorials I have planned and the other videos. A couple challenge videos I want to do too. Hopefully I'm better, more coherent, no co more coherent. Hopefully I can enunciate better too. I gotta work on that apparently. I don't have a I don't know how to talk right. Ever since I started these voiceovers, I've discovered that I cannot speak for the life of me. Twenty-five years old, still don't know how to talk right. It's great. Sorry again. So sorry. <laughs> I'll get better at this eventually. Eventually. And look at that. All done with Greninja. Hopefully this wasn't too painful. Probably was. Sorry again. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.